I'm Nicole from Nancy's Notions, and today we're gonna learn how to stuff our dolls. We used a doll panel to create a really simple and easy rag doll, and today we're gonna learn how to turn it, stuff it, and invisibly finish the seam. All right, so our first step, once we've sewn our doll up, is to clip the seams. So we're gonna take our little tiny scissors, and we're going to go into the points. And this is going to eliminate bulk. So you want to get close, but not too close, because we don't want to clip through. So we're just going to go around and clip into all of our points, all the way around. This will prevent wrinkling in stress points. So make sure you are thorough with your clipping. OK, now that we've clipped, the next thing we're going to do is use this handy device called a turn it all to easily turn our doll. So what we're going to do is find the opening that we left and insert our tube. Once the tube's inserted, you take your wooden doll and you put it into the tube and begin to push the fabric all the way through. Just a little bit to get it started, remove the tube and continue pushing until it comes out. And then pull it all the way through as much as you can. Now we're going to do the legs. So again, we'll take our tube, put it into the leg, and then stick the doll in, push it through. And we'll continue all the way around the doll, each leg and each arm. So once you have your doll turned, just use your fingers and bring all the fabric forward. Hi, Dolly. Nice to meet you. So now we're ready to stuff. So the key to stuffing is to take little pieces of polyfill small and insert them into the doll. So what I like to do is start in the head. So we're just going to grab some stuffing and put small little pieces about the size of a grape. And then the stuffing sticks have a really handy feature where these notches will grab the fill and help guide it into place. This is especially handy in little features like the piggy tail, or hands, or feet, or anywhere that you really want to get controlled stuffing. OK, so now our head is nicely stuffed. And you can see that clipping really paid off. We have no wrinkles in the neck. Neck wrinkles, no good. So now we're going to move into the arms. So again, small little pieces of fluff. And we're going to use our stuffing sticks to get it nice and neat down into the arm. It's really, really important to go slow and get little bits of stuffing all the way down into the arm so that you have a nice, firm doll arm. So now I have worked the stuffing down all the way into the hand and you can feel it's nice and firm over time the stuffing will loosen up so it's okay to overstuff a little bit just make sure that you're not starting to split your seam so you want to be firm yet gentle as you can see here we have a little bit of a wrinkle in the armpit so what we're going to want to do is keep stuffing firm but gentle because this is a stress point that we did clip out earlier so remember, if you get little wrinkles, it's because you don't have enough stuffing or you haven't clipped deep enough. So at this point, we have our arms, neck, and head stuffed. So what I like to do is layer flat and kind of massage that stuff again just to try to give her a little bit of shape. And we'll do this again when we're all finished. But for right now, I'm just double checking to make sure that there's enough stuffing to keep her head up. Now that our doll is mostly stuffed, we're just going to finish up by putting a little bit more in the body. And now this time what I'm going to do 
is take the stuffing and push it all the way over to the side opposite the opening so that we can do the ladder stitch. When we're finished stitching her up, then we'll massage the doll again. Now that our doll is stuffed, it's time to use a ladder stitch to close her up. Today I'm going to use a contrasting thread so that you can see what I'm doing. First, I'm going to wax the thread. This will help the thread glide nicely through your fabric. Once it's waxed, tie off at the end, and then we're going to start our ladder stitch. I like to start at the top. First, I'm going to bury the thread into the seam and tuck it away. Now I'm going to go down into the channel and come up. Go directly across. Down into the channel and come up. So now that we're close to the end, we're just going to continue going down into the channel. Come up. And one more stitch down into the channel. And then I just like to tie off my thread once, maybe two times for good measure. Then what I do is I take my needle and I stick it into my doll and come up through the body. Give a little tug on the thread and snip. Now that our seam is nice and buried, you can see that our cute little doll is complete. Now remember, when you do this at home, use a matching thread and the seam is all but invisible. Thanks so much for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and click like below. I'd also love to hear your thoughts. Please feel free to leave me some comments. Check out the links below to see where you can find really cute, quick doll patterns and other fun gifts. Thanks for watching. See you next time.